better to endure cravings that seem unbearable than to endure consequences that are unbearable. We are all often subjected to cravings that seem unbearable. For example, somebody is an alcoholic, maybe even a recurring alcoholic. Then the urge to indulge, the urge to drink hits them. And when it hits them, it's almost impossible to resist it, to give it up. And what do they do? If they think, oh, this is unbearable and they give it up. Then what happens? Each indulgence makes that craving stronger. And initially you might feel, even if I give in to it, it's not a big problem. I drink. Okay. But the problem is, when the craving, now it seems irresistible, but when we give in to it, next time when it comes, it may even be stronger. That means that it may well be such that it makes people, it may not only come upon us with greater force, but it may drag us with greater force to a greater degree. That means we might indulge more and more. Sometimes we might just drink too much. But sometimes that alcoholic might drink too much and then might drive. And driving under influence and under intoxication can be a serious crime in itself. Uh, but if, say, they get in, they cause an accident, they knock over someone, uh, God forbid they, uh, they, they mishandle the car and somebody dies, then the consequences would be unbearable. So initially, when the craving comes, we only sense the force of the craving and feel that this is too difficult to bear. But instead, if we consider the force with which the craving is going to make us act and the consequences of the action, then we may well realize, hey, this is not worth it. The craving feels unbearable. However, if we determinedly try to redirect our consciousness elsewhere, it is bearable. It requires willpower and it requires a significant amount of willpower to tolerate the cravings. But at least to some extent it is in our control. However, once the consequences hit us, then it's not in our control at all. If it becomes a police case, then our willpower is not going to save us from our, from those painful consequences. So, there may be consequences that are unbearable and they will be far more serious than the cravings which seem unbearable. The Bhagavad Gita points to this downward spy es escalation that happens from 1611 to 1615. It says in 1611, 1612 that when somebody starts indulging, first it says, Chintama parimayam cha pralayantam upashritaha kamo paboga parama eta paditinishitaha. And somebody gives themselves up to calm upabhoga. Just thinking that sensual living is the purpose of living. Then, asha pashashatair baddaha kama krodha parayanaha. They become bound by the, the shackle, by the noose of desires. They become sold out to kama and krodha. And then, ihante kama bhogartham. And for indulging in that particular craving, sanchayan, they start coming, committing illegal activities to gain wealth, to gain the necessary resources. And the next verse describes how people who are covetous may degenerate to even becoming murderous. 
ಇದಮದ್ದೆ ಮಯ ಆಲಬ್ಧಂ ಇಮಂ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ಸೆ ಮನೋರಥಂ ಇದಮಸ್ತಿ ಇದಮಿ ಮೇ ಭವಿಷ್ಯತಿ ಪುನರ್ಧನ ಅಸೌ ಮಯ ಹತ ಶತ್ರು ಹನಿಷ್ಯ ಚಾಪರಾನ್ ಅಪಿ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಹಮ ಅಹಂ ಭೋಗಿ ಸಿದ್ಧೋ ಅಹಂ ಬಲ್ವಾನ್ ಸುಖಿ ಆಢ್ಯೋ ಅಭಿಜನ್ವಾನ್ ಅಸ್ಮಿ ಕೋನ್ಯಸ್ತಿ ಸದೃಶೋ ಮಯ ಯಾಕ್ಷೇ ದಾಸ್ಯಾಮಿ ಮೋದಿಶ್ಯ ಇತ್ಯಜ್ಞಾನ ವಿಮೋಹಿತ ಸೊ in the craving for money they may even kill others and they may delight in killing others but eventually that is ghastly karma and the consequences will catch up with them and the consequences will be unbearable so therefore it's vital that we before the cravings hit us we calmly remind ourselves maybe write even write down the consequences that can happen if we give in to those cravings we may think that i will give in to this craving only up to a particular degree and not beyond that but once the craving hits it's very difficult to regulate how how far it will drag us and therefore it's best to work as hard as possible to bear the craving that seems unbearable and especially if we practice bhakti yoga and try to take our consciousness toward krishna and shelter it in krishna then bearing the craving becomes relatively easier thank you